Okay, I'm live. Hey, TDC Jay here, and welcome to me programming uh, very poorly for the next three hours. So you have to program from scratch, and there is some starting code we're allowed to use. Example bot. I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's see, I haven't even looked at these yet. But this Python example stuff, I'm not using it, it has to go. And luckily, um, somebody uploaded <laughs> pretty much um, an entire, like, gosling pre-processing step. So I'm just going to control A and control V this. Um, this is exactly what they uploaded. And I have no idea what's going on in all of this. Um, I'm just going to get rid of it for now. Um, if you've watched Gosling before, you'll know uh, what I'm talking about here. I want to make sure that it doesn't just crash right off the bat. Okay, so I do have an error coming up in here right now. Uh, so let's see what this is. Object, object has no attribute. Rotation, velocity. Oh, I wonder if he renamed it. So since the tournament is heavily focused on scoring, I need to get um, three hour bot scoring some goals. Now, um, maybe maybe I will set a state for this, but I'm not going to make a new file any for or anything. I'm just going to have uh, a function. It's going to be def uh, take shot. Ah, what do I do first? I probably should have planned this better. Um, let's just think real quick. How? What's a good way to take a shot? Ah, rendering tutorial. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, this is what I needed. So we're gonna draw a line when we can see both objects in question It does draw a nice line And that that's a good value right there for our, um, our goal post. There we go. This is kind of cool But if I well these lines as they come together if I keep them on the ball I'm pretty much guaranteed To score a goal. I've already used 30 minutes of my three hours Two and a half hours left, and I need to make a bot do good. I'm just trying to think of a, you know, a good way to score, to score a goal. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a line from somewhere in the goal through the ball. Um, Alright, so here's our goal. Here's our ball. Here's our car. Um, um, um. Uh, from the goal through the ball instead of going from the center of the goal, which is like gosling I want it to go from any locations approach uh, It would you know join up with this line and hit the ball But what I'd rather happen is Optimize it so that the target right here and draw from here So that way we're pretty much already along that line. We just have to do a small adjustment to hit it um, yeah, well, we'll have to assume that that to be true. And if it doesn't work, then we lose the tournament and all of our fame and glory. Hopefully that'll work. All right, well, before it crashes completely, um, I was thinking, you know, we could play with car hitboxes where if it hits the ball from the side, it could redirect it a little bit. But um, that would be too difficult to set up. So I'm just going to minimize that for now. <laughs> I'll let it crash peacefully in the background. What are you making, but that answers that one. Cool. Uh, who do you think this this one's this one's a big question? Who do you think is gonna win the competition? Uh, not me. <laughs> well, okay, because I heard uh, Skyborg earlier, and he said that you're probably gonna win. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that almost looks promising. I mean, it <laughs> it's. It's there, it's fixed to his facing direction. Well, it's not fixed to his facing direction. Hmm. I wonder if I could just use the... I might not even, I probably don't even need to do what I'm trying to do right now. Maybe that would... We'll play with that. We'll just write code and see. We'll throw science at the wall to see what sticks. We're basically going to make it a center goal, except not. Probably do a sign agent.team. I'm not actually sure if this is necessary. Facing right up center, this should be centered. So instead of a sine, we might need a cosine in here. So I'm going to change it to cosine. There we go. That is spot on middle. Our blue line is going the wrong way. It should be pointing towards the green line. And the most efficient way for me to score is to score along the green line path. Um, now if I was facing the other way, 
the most efficient way for me to score without having to turn and correct for it would be to score along the red line path. So right when the red line is lined up, I would hit it here, and this would be a goal. But of course, the blue line is opposite of what it should be. So let's go in here and fix that. <laughs> Live programming. Um, this is progress. This is a lot better than the thing I was trying to do earlier with local coordinates. So maybe instead of negative sign, we'll just do positive sign. So now if I'm pointing towards the green line, the blue line will point towards the green line. Oh, that's beautiful. Whether or not this will oscillate until it dies or if it'll actually help the bot, you know, go in and do stuff, who knows? Check this out. The purple line now um, tells you exactly where it wants the car to line up. Let's draw um, a dot at the end of this line. I wonder if I can. I think I have to draw a rectangle, just a small rectangle. This color red. There we go. Oh, this is so cool. All right, now we just need to get him driving. Oh, look at that. Even in the backwards driving. <laughs> this is a uh, next level play here. He's trying. He doesn't know what to do. There we go. <laughs> His first goal, a backwards goal. He's just like Leaf. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> when he's not facing the ball, I want him to, the, um, the thing I'm gonna do to inverse. Ah, let's see, is there an easy way to do that? Let's see. So when we when we calculate our center goal, um, it's based off of math.cosine um, of his rotation data. I wonder, here we go, can we make this an absolute value? Oh, no, that wouldn't do it, would it? We'll try it. We'll try it and see if, if that works. In fact, we can even, we'll be even, we'll be able to tell if it works just by watching the replay. Oh crap, that was the replay. So now he just needs um, a little bit of ball prediction. He need, I need to teach him um, how long it's going to be before the ball has landed on the ground and where the ball will be at some time in the future. And luckily, Skybot might have done my work for me. Skyborg. It's just not going to be work worth it, I don't think. So here's what I'll do. I'll write a basic ball prediction thingy from scratch in 45 minutes. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think I have to. I think Gosling has a utility for, um, well, to get me started at least. Ball ready. Oh, no, it doesn't do it. it. doesn't do it for me. This doesn't work. <laughs> oh, boy. I believe that's how it is. Someone can probably correct me on that as I get halfway through solving it. Another thing I can think of is either I wrote quad wrong, which it should be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Change that, save this. There we go. I just had a missing parenthesis. Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah, those wobbles are pretty crazy. But he's still able to get it in. That's all that matters. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I need to make a, a, a loop and I'd have to go through these and see which one's the closest and then go towards it. But, oh well. I, I'm officially stopped at this point. I'm not gonna program anymore.